And now to the high stakes hearing today for TikTok. Lawyers for the social media giant are set to argue in court that a proposed ban on the app is unconstitutional. ABC's Rhiannon Alley has the latest. This morning, TikTok and its parent company, ByteDance, facing an ultimatum, sell the app or be banned. Lawyers for the social media giant are scheduled to argue in court today that the law that could ban the app is unconstitutional. There's no denying that this app has huge cultural influence today. It comes less than five months after President Biden signed a bill into law giving ByteDance until January to find a new owner for TikTok. With more than 170 million users, TikTok has become one of the biggest players in the social media landscape with everyone from influencers to politicians taking part. Hey Kamala, what are we gonna say to Donald Trump in November? Bye, bye, bye. Both Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Trump are on TikTok, posting videos to appeal to voters. The president is now on TikTok. It's my honor. Even as the Justice Department calls TikTok a national security threat. We see both campaigns on there. Uh, regardless of how they even feel about TikTok, uh, TikTok's future, uh, they're, they're using it now. They want to reach young people. U.S. officials say the app can be used as a Chinese propaganda tool and user data can be handed over to the Chinese government. TikTok denies the allegations, calling the attempt to ban it a radical departure from this country's tradition of championing an open Internet and sets a dangerous precedent. Rhiannon Alley, ABC News, New York.